Hi, Zach Reiser here, and welcome back to another Base Effects review video. Today, I am getting into the Iron Ether Zero Graph Deluxe Low Pass Filter. Got a lot of different things to go through, so I am going to jump right into it. I'm going to start on the two pole side. So the zero graph gives you the option of two pole or four pole low pass filter. Uh, the two pole send, tends to be a little bit funkier. Um, the four pole tends to be a little bit synthier. So I'm gonna start with my dry bass. Here is my bass's dry tone Dingwall ABZ six string on the neck pickup. And now I'm going to run that into the zero graph with the settings as shown. Now, it has a selectable envelope follower. So if I turn this button off here, it's totally foot controlled. But if I put this back on, the sensitivity knob here does the job of opening the filter for me. Same settings, but a little bit more resonance. Now for me, when I use my dry bass and I'm treating it as a traditional kind of funky envelope filter, I like to use this clean knob here and roll in some of my clean tones so that the filter's just kind of in the background. So let's hear similar settings, but with a little bit of clean rolled in. <laughs> Slightly different sound. On the top here, you see the three dip switches. Um, I have clicked this one to the left, which sends, which sends the envelope follower to go down instead of up. So you get kind of a different funky envelope vibe here. <laughs> Same settings, no dry signal. Going back to that down envelope setting and other settings are shown here. I've put a little bit of overdrive on from the Source Audio Aftershock, so here's what that sounds like without the zero graph. And now I'm going back to a traditional upward envelope filter with a little bit of clean rolled in. <laughs> Try a little bit of that, but let's put a little bit of reverb on afterward from the Eventide H9. Similar settings, I've rolled a little bit more resonance in, pulled my clean signal back a little bit, and now I'm running that same overdrive, but I've also added an octaver from the Boss OC2. So without the zero, into that zero graph deluxe. All right, I've turned off the Boss OC2 Octaver, and I have also turned off the Envelope Follower, so now I'm going back to pure foot-controlled expression uh, filter cutoff here. And I'm going to do a little bit of kind of a pseudo-wah pedal vibe. The two-pole filter does a pretty good job at emulating kind of a bass uh, wah vibe here. <laughs> All 
All right, before I get to the four pole filter, I wanna show what a very synthy signal running into the two pole sounds like and then immediately compare it to the four pole so you can really get a difference in character. And I feel like that a really harsh kind of gated fuzz synth based sound really demonstrates this well. So this is um, Boss OC2 into a gated fuzz on the Source Audio Aftershock. is just a filter sweep on the two pole filter setting. Now switching to four pole, I'm gonna turn the filter volume down a little bit, the four pole's a little louder. Same filter sweep, same settings, but with the four pole. Super, super synthy. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to stick on the four pole filter. Now, even though the four pole filter is very synthy, I actually think it can be incredibly funky as well for that kind of classic envelope filter vibe. So I put on my Fairfield Accountant compressor, dry bass with the compressor sounds like this. And now into a envelope filter controlled on the, or envelope controlled filter, sorry, on the four pole setting. Now, because it's such a steep roll off, I'm not getting much of my top end. I also could turn the sensitivity up a little bit, but I like to roll in some clean signal with this. And I really like this for kind of a funky envelope vibe. <laughs> Same settings, but let's click to a downward envelope. Same settings here on the zero graph, but now I'm running a pure um, just sub signal into a little bit of overdrive, giving me this kind of soft uh, gated synth sound. And here's running that into this downward envelope. Same settings, but let's do an up envelope. Same settings, but now I'm switching back to that uh, much harsher gated fuzz synth sound here. So yet again, that's what this sounds like without the zero graph. running in to the same envelope filter settings. Turning the clean volume down. And just for fun, back to that down envelope setting. All right, one feature I have not demonstrated yet is you have two different envelope follower speeds. I have been on the fast setting the whole time, but I want to show what the slow setting can be. So this is that gated fuzz um, OC2 running into the zero on the fast envelope here. <laughs> You can hear it open up, opens up very quickly. Here is the slow envelope. Now 
this is really nice if you don't have an expression pedal cr uh, plugged in. It allows you to have some kind of slower filter sweeps. So let's run that same slow envelope setting into a very large reverb on the Eventide H9. <laughs> Okay, so now that you have a pretty good idea of what the pedal sounds like by itself, along with some other kind of overdrives and octavers, I want to show a few combinations with filters that I really enjoy, one of which is kind of dual modulation. So let's take this nice long filter sweep here, um, sound on the uh, OC2 into the source audio aftershock into the zero. <laughs> And now let's put a little bit of chorus on from the Strymon Mobius. The chorus is running into the zero graph. You can hear just how much depth that adds to the sound. Let's put a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of reverb on, same sound. Same settings, except instead of a chorus, I'm using a flanger. One more dual modulation setting. So this is a um, harmonic tremolo from the Strymon Mobius, so without the zero graph. <laughs> Now, if I run that into an envelope controlled filter on the zero graph, it kind of does an auto wah setting for me. Same setting, but now a downward envelope. So lastly, moving away from the sub synth or bass synth side of things, I want to show how powerful the Xerograph Deluxe is as just a kind of a synthy filter for more of like pad-like sounds. So I have a crystal setting on one of my Eventide H9s. It sounds like this. lush pad like sound. Let's run that into a four pole foot sweepable in, uh, filter on the zero graph. <laughs> this even more synthy. Let's add a very textural reverb afterwards. So let's hear what that sounds like. One more synth-like texture here, except this is more in the synth lead side of things. So I have a gated fuzz without the OC2 running into a chorus into a reverb, and that's what this sounds like. <laughs> and now let's add some foot sweepable filter action from the zero graph. <laughs> Oh, 
So that's my review of the Iron Ether Zero Graph Deluxe. Really dig this thing. It is just fat and juicy and funky. I will be back soon with many more pedal and effects reviews as well as some performance videos. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks.